Hey guys, welcome to part two of the growth track. And in this part, we're talking about breaking the sabotage cycle. So the sabotage cycle is this, for those of us who've never heard this before, and it's okay if you haven't, because I remember my first time hearing this. What is a sabotage cycle? The sabotage cycle are those negative things that happen again and again in our lives, right? Those, those, those cycles that no matter how much you try to break it, we always end up back in wrong relationships. We always end up back being addicted to this. We always end up back, right, doing the self destructive behavior. And so here's the thing is that those cycles prevent us from experiencing the freedom that God has for you and for me. And today God wants to begin the process of breaking those things down. So let me read to you this first real quickly. It's found in 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 3 to 5. This is what Paul writes. He says, for though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world, but on the contrary, they have divine power. Come on, somebody. They have divine power to demolish strongholds, right? We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take every thought captive and we make it obedient to Christ. That's going to be our main verse during this time. So let me explain to us what the sabotage cycle is. And then from there, as I explain it, I'll give us examples. So that way we can start relating to it. So the first thing about the sabotage cycle is this, if you can take a circle and break it down into four different parts or four different quadrants, the first part is this, it's something called the event. What is the event? It's something that either happens, it's a moment in time, it's a traumatic thing, right? It's some freak accident that happens. It's something that's happened to you only once, or sometimes the event could be something that happens long term, over time. You guys know that right there. Long term, over time. And then so it's a hurt, it's a trauma, it's something that you experienced, or it's something that you didn't experience, right? It could be something spiritual, it could be something cultural, but it's an event that happens that triggers the rest of this. The second part of the sabotage cycle is something called the lie. It's the lie. Or another way that you can say this is the interpretation of what happens. So what happens is this, is that the event happens, right? And then what happens is that we define what the event means for you and for me. And so this is the hard part. This is the reason why a lot of us get mixed up because it's not really about what happens to us. It's about how do we interpret what happens to us. And then I'll dive into this a little bit further. But the third part of the sabotage cycle is this is something that we call the response. So you have the event, then you have the lie, and then from there, based on the interpretation or the lie that we get from that, we respond in a different way. And then after that, you have the reaction. And this is and this is the way that people react to the way that you respond. So let me give some examples of this. Let's say, for instance, um, that there's a young kid named Bobby. And the event that happens to Bobby is this, is that when Bobby's young, his mother up and leaves Bobby. And so the event that happens is, is that the mother leaves Bobby and for whatever reason that is, it's because of infidelity or because she just doesn't think she's good enough to be a mother or whatever other reason that the mother reasons out, she leaves Bobby alone. And so what happens is that Bobby is young at the time. So the way that he interprets the event is he interprets it or the lie that's spoken to him is, is that he is not worthy of women's love because his mom walks out on him. Then that means that basically either he's not worthy of women's love or women are just going to keep hurting him again and again and again. And so here's the hard part about the lies of the interpretation. A lot of the way that we interpret things comes from our childhood years. Why is that? Because when you're a child, and for those of you guys with very observant kids, you know this, kids are really good observers, but they're not good interpreters. They can observe, they can listen, they can hear and see what happens, but because they're not mature enough to be able to interpret it the right way, a lot of times the wrong interpretation or a lie gets planted in our hearts. Like for example with Bobby, the lie that either all women are going to hurt him or that he's not worthy of woman's love. So guess how Bobby responds to him then? Well, Bobby's response is, is that now as he grows up, his response is this, is that I am either going to distance myself from every woman 
or I'm going to control everyone because I don't want them to hurt me and I don't want them to leave me, I'm going to start controlling them, right? And so here's the thing, right? For every self-respecting woman is that you know that when you get involved in a relationship with a man who always wants to control you, who always wants to treat you as if they were, you know, you were their property, you're not going to stay in that relationship. So what happens is that then the way that women react to him is they leave him. And so what happens is this, is they leave him, and when they leave him, it creates a whole new event, and it only reinforces the lie. And when the woman leaves him, when the woman leaves him, Bobby says, see, I told you, right? The sabotage cycle says, see, I told you, all women do is hurt you. You're not worthy of women's love. And it creates this new event that only reinforces the lie, the only one that makes him respond even more this way. And then the women keep reacting like this in this cycle that goes over again and again and again and again. And so here's the thing, is that the response can be different things. The response can be control. The response can be fear, the response can be bitterness, sarcasm, can be distancing, whatever that is, right? The response is often the thing in the sabotage cycle that most people see the most. So, for example, uh, when it came to me a couple years ago, I remember that there was an event that happened. Um, if I could just speak personally real quickly, there was an event that happened in my life before I moved back to Chambersburg. And the event that happened was is that I was working with a group of people who I cared a lot about. And, you know, they weren't being bad, but what ended up happening is, is that there was a lot of brokenness that happened in those relationships that I experienced. And because of that, I began to have a distrust of people that I worked with. Not really a distrust, but this feeling of, I don't want to be vulnerable again. So the event was, is that my trust was broken. And then what that told me was, is that I can't trust or be vulnerable with people that I work with. And then, so that happened, right? Not here, but some other state. And when I moved back here, I was holding people at a distance. Well, guess what? When I hold people at a distance, people notice that. So I remember one time, man, one of our, uh, one of our staff members, our youth pastor came up to me and he said, Nate, he said, why do you keep pushing me away? And I remember thinking to myself, I'm not pushing anybody away. But then he walked out of my office and I thought to myself, why do I push people away? I realized that. And I, and I prayed right then and there. I prayed and said, God, like, why do I do this? And what he showed me was he took me back to that event that happened. And he showed me the lie that was put in my heart. And so what happens is this, is that oftentimes when it comes to behavioral change, when it comes to, you know, even counseling, a lot of people, they attack this one thing right here, they attack the response. Stop doing this. Stop looking at porn. Stop drinking. Stop dating those wrong people, right? Just open up. Start being vulnerable. They look at the response and they, they say, do this or stop doing this. But here's the thing, is that if you're going to break the sabotage cycle in your life, you don't attack the response, right? The response isn't the culprit. The event isn't even the culprit because you can't go back and change the event. It already happened. But the thing that you can attack and the thing that Paul says that we can attack is the lie that was spoken to us. So when it comes to the case of Bobby, what we, Bobby needs to do is we need to go back to the thing and we need to say, hey, listen, the lie was that you can't trust women. And listen, you've got to know this is that, yes, there are going to be people in general, right, who will betray your trust. But here's the thing is that not every single woman is like that. And God wants to heal you and God wants to speak to you and God wants you to experience, right, his love. And so you got to attack the lie. So when it comes to the sabotage cycle, you don't attack the event. You don't want to attack the response. This is what's often changed and this is what's often seen the most. But the lie is the thing that you've got to break. And so here's the question I want to ask us today is, is there a cycle in our life that is unhealthy? Right. Again, with those different things that I named, whether it keeps, you know, wrong relationships, whether it's habits, whether it's negative self-talk, is there a cycle in our life that keeps happening again and again and again? And despite your best efforts to break it days later, weeks later, you always end up coming back to it. Can I ask you, is it possible that the reason why those cycles are there isn't because, you know, you're not trying, but it's because you're just attacking the wrong thing? It's kind of like when you pull the weeds. If all you do is pull up what you see, the response, right? The root's still there and because the root's there, it's always going to come back up. So if we can attack the root, which in the sabotage cycle, the root is the lie, right? We can end the cycle in our lives. So the question is this, is, is there a lie that we've been believing? Is there a lie that we've believed about God? Is there a lie that we've believed about other people? Is there a lie that we believed about ourselves? And in this moment, here's what I want to do. I want you just to, as soon as this video ends, I want you to take a couple minutes and this is what I want you to do. I want you to close your eyes and I want you to pray. And this is what I want you to pray. I want you to say, God, 
I open up myself to you. Is there a cycle in my life that I've allowed to be there? And is there a root lie that I've been believing about you, about me, about other people? And when you pray that, I want you to practice what we talked about in hearing God. And I want you just to take time just to be silent and still. And I want you to see and wait for God to speak to you. Now, He may speak to you through a feeling. He may speak to you through a picture. But I want you to wait. And I want you to speak to God because here's what the Word says, that if you seek God with all your heart, right? Jeremiah 29, 13, if you seek Him with all of your heart, you will find Him. So as you seek God and ask Him to give you truth, I promise you that He'll speak to you. It may take a little bit longer, right? It may take a couple of times, but he does want to speak to you and he will speak to you. So again, you just pray, God, is there a lie that I've been believing? And then after that, once he gives that to you, here's your second prayer. You say, God, what truth do you want to speak over my life? Because we can't just pull the weeds. We've got to plant flowers. And then after that, you've got to ask God, what's the truth that I need to start believing? Because once truth is there, that'll change the fruit or the response. Then you start to break the cycles over your life. Again, God wants you to experience freedom from these sabotage cycles. Let him speak your truth over you that you may experience that freedom.